Hey everyone, it's Liam from AdButler here, and today we're going to talk about accounts. In AdButler, you can have four different kinds of accounts. Admin, user, publisher, and advertiser. Sub-accounts allow you to portion off your AdButler dashboard into slices and send them off to people to give them specific access. It's really handy when you know you're going to work with a publisher or advertiser and they want to see their statistics, or if you have multiple people helping maintain your ads. When you create a new AdButler account and log in for the first time, you are on the admin account. The admin account has access to everything in the dashboard, all the publishers, all the users, all the billing info, and all the settings. The admin account is the be all, end all to user accounts. The most important thing that is unique to the admin account is the settings menu. Here's where all the white labeling features, as well as the basic account settings like AccuPixel and Currency are located. Only the admin account has access to this section of the dashboard. Now, directly below the admin account are the user accounts. User accounts are sub-admin accounts that can be granted limited privileges. You can see all current user accounts by heading to the user accounts section of AdButler. Right now, we don't have any user accounts, so we can create one by clicking Add New. Here, we can define the username, the login information, and any administrative information we want to record, like this person's position in the company. Then we get to the meat of the matter. These are the permissions that are available to a user and changing them dictates what the user can do. We can pick what publishers a user has access to or give them access to all. We can grant them access to the active link and geographic target part of the dashboard. We can let them upload things to the media library. We can change what statistics they can see, if any. And finally, we can allow this user to create, access, and delete other user accounts. The flexibility of the user account system allows you to set up AdButler however you want. If you have an account manager who shouldn't be changing anything, you can just give them access to their one publisher and the statistics for that publisher. Or you can create an account that has almost as many privileges as the admin account. It's up to you. You can also create as many user accounts as you want. Once an account is created, the user gets an email if you requested it, letting them know their information and a private link to access your AdButler account. This link is unique to your account. When a user logs in, they will see a different screen depending on their permissions. The first thing you might notice is the lack of the settings option, which is across all user accounts. You may also note that this user account, which does not have access to any publishers, does not have a publisher option. A publisher account is tied to a specific publisher in your dashboard and gives direct access to that publisher's information. You can create one by opening the publisher and clicking edit publisher properties and checking off optional user access. Then you fill out the account information and like with the user accounts, change the permissions. We can also create a user account for the publisher when the publisher is created. Once logged in, I can now see all the advertisements in my zones and if given the proper permissions, approve or deny them. I can also look at all the statistics for this account and the zones within. If I want, I can pause and resume banners, add new banners, retrieve zone tags and change the properties of the zone all within the publisher. An advertiser account is created in the same way as a publisher account for many of the same reasons. Once it's out there and the advertiser signs in, they can see the statistics for the various campaigns as well as schedule a new advertisement if they have that permission. Scheduling an advertisement allows an advertiser to request a new banner, which can be either an image or a custom HTML banner. The advertiser gets access to all the usual banner information, but they cannot upload anything to the media library as that could incur extra charges depending on the size of the creative. Once the request is submitted, whatever email is tied to the user account will be notified of the ad request. As well, when the admin logs in, it will be alerted to the request. The admin can then open the request, review it, and assign it to be either a zone or campaign banner. Both publishers and advertisers can only have one account tied to them. They're good for building relationships or just creating transparency between you and your partners. User accounts are also good for that, as well as keeping everything running smoothly. Accounts are also really handy when creating white label solutions, which I'll be going over in another video. Let us know if this video helped at all by commenting or sending us an email, or if I missed anything. Also, if you are looking for videos on anything specific, leave a comment and or email us your suggestion and we'll get back to you. As always, Liam from AdButler here. Thanks for watching and have a good day.